owners hail from Long Island is chasing history. Bruce Beck is live at Belmont Park in Elmont with the latest. Hi there, Bruce. Hi, Carol Ann. Today we're on the doorstep of history as Big Brown tries to win the triple crown of thoroughbred racing. The undefeated three-year-old has romped to victory in both the Kentucky Derby and the Preakness Stakes. And here at the third jewel of racing's Triple Crown, he's been installed as the two to five morning line favorite, even with a cracked left front hoof. Speaking of injuries, Casino Drive, who was considered the main threat to Big Brown, was scratched this morning. The undefeated Japanese import has a bruised left hind hoof. Joining me right now is my colleague Greg Sergal, who certainly knows a thing or two about the pageantry of the Belmont Stakes. Well, Bruce, pageantry and heat, the uh, themes of the day here at Belmont. About 100,000 people expected at the so-called Taj Mahal of racing. And from what we could see, the place was jammed with uh, race goers of all kinds from all around the country, hoping Big Brown could win just one more. They poured into Belmont all day with one horse and one goal in mind. I would like to see him make history. And as they waited for Big Brown's run at history. It's hot. It's so hot. <laughs> Belmont's fans tried to stay cool any way they could. We saw one track worker actually succumb to the sweltering heat. Not perspiring any longer first signs of heat stroke. But if that heat actually kept people away from the track, it wasn't obvious. Can I see your tickets? Sure. Veteran usher Mike Aris says he could feel a special buzz this time around. We do. You know, we do here for Triple Crown winner at Belmont, so it's about time. It's been 30 years now. Outside Belmont, however, about 100 protesters condemned the alleged drugging of the horses so many came here to celebrate. Big Brown is the poster child of everything that's bad about the horse racing industry. Thank you, buddy. Good luck. Still betters, both cautious and daring, focused only on Big Brown's date with destiny. Something's got to go wrong for this horse to lose. He's just that dominant. The Sarmo aboard the winner. A good omen, Big Brown's jockey rode a winner in an earlier race. He's big, he's fast, good looking, and I think he win the, I think he win it. Well, heat, not the only problem for folks here today. We're getting reports that some of the bathrooms at Belmont are down because of water pressure problems. Men actually forced to share bathrooms with women. You can bet, though, no one will be in the restroom in about 10 or 15 minutes when this race gets underway. Bruce? Thank you very much, Greg. And today, the sports world also mourns the death of Jim McKay, consummate television host, reporter.